Hi everyone. In this video, let us see what are the different parameters associated with respect to circular waveguide, such as group velocity, phase velocity, guide wavelength, wave impedance. All these parameters we have seen in the case of rectangular waveguide. The same and similar expressions we will be having in the case of circular waveguide also. So just let us recall what is the definition of each parameter and what could be the expression, possible expression of the such parameters. So that it is very easy to calculate whenever you are going to be asked in the examinations about the calculation of some of the parameters. <coughs> so let us start with the first one is group velocity. Group velocity. So, what do you mean by group velocity? Group velocity is nothing but the velocity of the wave, the velocity with which the wave travels inside the waveguide. The velocity with which the wave travels inside the waveguide okay so this is nothing but it indicates the velocity with which the wave travels inside the waveguide so whether it is a circular waveguide or a rectangular waveguide it doesn't matter just the wave which travels inside the waveguide it is having some velocity that velocity is referred to as a group velocity okay so the group velocity whatever the expression we have taken for the rectangular waveguide same expression we can consider here also okay so here i am not going to derive any of the expressions if you want to go, uh, know how we have got this expression you can go and refer uh, the rectangular waveguide calculations uh, in the previous videos okay so that is equal to c into square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square so the group velocity Vg is equal to C into C is nothing but velocity of electromagnetic signal or velocity of light into square root of 1 minus Fc by F whole square. Fc is nothing but cutoff frequency and F is nothing but operating frequency. You can also write the same expression in terms of wavelength. So this is in terms of frequency and in terms of wavelength we can write it as in terms of wavelength Vg is equal to C into root of 1 minus so what is the relation between frequency and wavelength both are inversely proportional to each other with respect to C so Fc is equal to C by lambda C and here F is equal to c by lambda so both are reciprocal to each other so it becomes lambda by lambda c so you can write it as lambda or lambda naught both are same you can write it as f naught and similarly you can write it as lambda naught lambda naught by lambda c whole square free space wavelength or free space frequency you both are correct here lambda can be written as lambda naught okay this is the group velocity so group velocity is defined as the velocity with which the wave travels inside the waveguide it is given as c into square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square under root now coming to the second parameter that is phase velocity phase velocity here every parameter whatever we are going to see here all the parameters are related to the waveguide okay that means the wave which is traveling inside the waveguide that is having all these parameters now 
phase velocity is nothing but it is the velocity with which the phase of the wave changes. It is defined as it is defined as the velocity of the wave with which the phase changes the velocity of the wave with which the phase changes here it refers to a single wave they, whereas in the previous wave <coughs> case uh, that refers to the group of waves so it is defined as the wave which changes its phase okay how much velocity it requires to change its phase when it travels into the waveguide and its expression is given as the phase velocity vp is equal to it is indicated by vp same c by 1 minus fc by f whole square under root just the group velocity will come in product of these two and the phase velocity will be in the division of these two c and root of 1 minus fc by f whole square okay same expressions so whatever we have got for the rectangular waveguide same expressions we are taking for the circular waveguide also they will be applied for the circular waveguide also okay in terms of wavelength the same can be written as the phase velocity vp is equal to c by 1 minus lambda by lambda c whole square under root so here lambda can be written as lambda naught lambda naught by lambda c whole square free space wavelength okay so this is the phase velocity and the next one is guide wavelength guide wavelength so before going into the definition of guide wavelength what is the definition of general wavelength what is the definition of general wavelength wavelength is nothing but the excursion of the signal that exhibits 2 pi radians in the free space okay it is the length of the wave that travels 2 pi radians in the free space okay that means it completes continue it uh, goes up to 2 pi radians uh, up to here so this is nothing but wavelength lambda okay so it is defined as it is defined as the wave experiences a 2 pi radians this is what the wavelength is. but now the same excursion now we are taking in term in the waveguide now we are talking about the waveguide so the same excursion if the wave experiences inside the waveguide then that is guide wavelength okay if the wave travels inside the waveguide see we are not saying what type of waveguide it is any type of waveguide these definitions are satisfied okay so if the wave travels inside the waveguide and experiences an excursion of How many radians? 2 pi radians. It is known as guide wavelength. Guide wavelength. If it happens in free space, then it is normally wavelength. If it happens inside the waveguide, then it is guide wavelength indicated by lambda g 
indicated by lambda g. What is the expression of lambda g? Lambda g is equal to lambda naught, nothing but free space wavelength, divided by 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. This is under root. Okay. So, lambda g group velocity is written in group, uh, sorry, guide wavelength is written in terms of free space wavelength and as well as cutoff wavelength. So, lambda g is equal to lambda naught by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. You can also write in terms of frequency, like previous cases, in terms of frequency, you can write it as lambda g is equal to lambda naught divided by 1 minus fc by f or f naught whole square okay so for similarity you can better write C, uh, lambda naught here everywhere okay so that everything will be uniform okay this is guide wavelength guide wavelength is nothing but the wave which travels inside the waveguide experiences a an excursion of two pi radians. Now, wave impedance. Wave impedance. Impedance generally represented by Z. Okay, wave impedance. It is indicated by ZZ. Z suffix Z. Okay. For T E wave it is Z T E and for T M wave it is Z T M. What do you mean by wave impedance? Wave impedance, wave impedance is nothing but it is the ratio of it is the ratio of it is the ratio of magnetic field component. magnetic field component to the electric field component in different directions ok or you can also define the same wave impedance as it is the ratio of electric field component to the magnetic field component or it is also defined as ratio of electric field component to the magnetic field component in different transverse mediums transverse directions that means if you take electric field in x direction you should you should take magnetic field in y direction so you can define it as zz is equal to e x if you take here h y you should take here okay so electric field component in one transverse direction to the magnetic field component in another transverse direction or else you can also write it as electric field component in one direction to the magnetic field component in another direction or the same can be written as hx by hy sorry hx by ey hy by ex Okay, all definitions are valid. Now, for Tm, ZTm is equal to eta free space impedance into root of 1 minus Fc by F whole square. And all these three parameters, this uh, factor will come 1 minus fc by f whole square under root 
okay and you can also write the same expression in terms of wavelength like this 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square this is z e next for t e it comes in multiplication z t e is equal to sorry it comes in division as it comes in multiplication it should be in division eta by square root of 1 minus f c by f whole square or you can also write it in terms of uh, wavelength square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square this is ZTE in terms of wavelength okay so these are the definitions of all these various parameters uh, uh, whether it is a circular waveguide or rectangular waveguide it doesn't matter but the definitions are common and expressions are also common okay so for more in detailed calculation of these definitions you can go through the rectangular waveguide all these parameters in, in the case of rectangular waveguide i have discussed it there in the previous videos thank you